Hey guys, we are talking transformations today, which is different ways that shapes can move within the coordinate plane. In this video, we are specifically talking about rotations. If you need a different kind of transformation or some other rotation videos, I will link a playlist for you in the corner. All right, we want to rotate this lovely shape here 270 degrees on our clockwise about the origin. Now there's a couple different ways we can do this. And again, I'll link a video for you that shows some different ways. But for this video, we are going to use these rules. Now these rules come from somewhere. And at the end, we're going to kind of show you why these rules work. But for now, we are going to look at how to turn this shape or rotate it 270 degrees counterclockwise. So when I look here, 270 degrees counterclockwise, I see if my original point on my shape is X, Y, right? What we're going to do is flip X and Y and change X's sign. Now, if that sounds crazy, just stick around for a second and you'll probably understand what we're doing. So I'm putting that as a reminder for myself there. So X and Y, this will be my original shape, right? The points on there. And then this Y negative X is going to be the points for the rotated shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out all of these points, what their ordered pair is. Okay, there are each of those points. The next thing I'm going to do is figure out where the rotated shape is going to be. So I am going to flip them and change X's sign. So I am going to write Y first. So I'm gonna have negative two, change X's sign so it's positive, so I'm gonna make it negative two, okay? I'm gonna flip them again, write Y first. So I have negative six, and then change X's sign, which there's not really a positive or negative zero, right? So it's just gonna stay zero. All right, on this one, I am going to write Y first. So I'm gonna have negative five, change X's sign, so it's negative two. And then I'm gonna write Y first, so it's gonna be negative eight. Change X's sign, so it is negative four. These are the points I believe if I plot these, I'm going to get this shape rotated 270 degrees. Let's go ahead and see by plotting these points. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's connect our dots. All right, there we go. That is looking pretty good. Like I rotated that. One, two, three three quarters of a circle, right, is 270 degrees. But we can also check ourselves if we're not sure. So I'm just gonna take this, this is literally parchment paper I took from my kitchen that you can use when you're like baking cookies, right? First thing I'm going to do is mark my coordinate plane here. That'll help me know, keep it in place of the origin and also to know how many degrees I've rotated it, okay? so. I've labeled that, now I'm going to label my original shape. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to physically rotate this paper 270 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So counterclockwise is that way, right? So 270 is three quarters of 360. So I'm gonna go, that would be 90, 180, and 270, oh, look how nicely that lines up. So I'm feeling pretty confident that I did this correctly. And you could see why when we did the, that switcheroo and changing the signs, that it lined up when we physically turned it. All right, okay, I hope that helps. If you need some more videos, I will link a playlist, thanks.